Welcome to the Riverside Training Facility. I'm Lieutenant Sonny Bonds. I'll be observing your practice run from the catwalks and giving you a few pointers about our procedures. I'm sure you've heard all of this before, but it never hurts to practice one more time. As you know, training is what gives SWAT the edge in the field. Take advantage of this facility to test out your weapons and meet your new team. When you're ready to start, just go through the door to the right of the chalkboard. Get down! Hands in the air! Hands up! Where the fuck was he talking to me from? What's up, everybody? We're back at it again with another random dude. We're playing some SWAT 4. I'm just in the training area because nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> at long range, accuracy becomes imperative. Your ability to control your weapon with skill and discipline will save your life and the lives of the people around you. If you set the M4 on full auto, you will quickly lose control of it due to recoil. Give it a try now. Set your M4 to full auto and try to fire several short controlled bursts. Now you can see how hard it can be to control your weapon and remain accurate at this range. Side looks a little off. Holy shit! Welcome to the Riverside Training Facility. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, Lieutenant yeah. Sucker. At this range, pistols and shotguns become less accurate. It's often best to use a submachine gun or an assault rifle. Equip your primary weapon and take some shots at this mid range target. Submachine guns and rifles have multiple firing modes, ranging from single shot to full automatic. The M4 fires in semi and full auto mode, while the submachine gun has semi auto and a three round burst. Oh! That one was wild. Make sure you're firing from a solid shooting platform. Remember that any shot that misses the target in the field might strike an innocent civilian. Whoops. Whoops. Bah. Failure drill. That's when you take two shots at the body and then one at the head. That one was wild. What the? Okay. Remember, you're most accurate when you have a strong and stable firing position. When you try to move and shoot, your accuracy is going to suffer. The faster you move, the worse your aim will be. Your accuracy will be highest when you're standing still and crouching. This portion of the range is for firing at multiple targets behind cover. Try moving and firing at them to get a sense of just how movements affect your accuracy. When you must move and fire, keep in mind that moving smoothly at a constant speed will give you better control over your weapon. Remember, smooth is fast, smooth is accurate. When you're done, go through the door to the right. To the from. grenade range. Practice throwing your non lethal grenades for a while. Effectiveness by throwing them at Ow! are designed to disorient people with a very loud bang and an extremely bright. Oh, shit! If you don't look away from Ow! the detonation, you can get blind. Well, no, I failed. Oh! Weapons and meet this is the by throwing them through the windows on the structure. Oh. Ah! Are designed to do you can get blinded too. CS gas causes people's <laughs> eyes to water and affects their breathing. Makes it difficult for them to do anything yeah. other than cough for a yeah. short period of time. Ah! Ah, damn it! <laughs> Why is that guy even there? Like what's the purpose of me? Go ahead and try this door. Huh? I locked it before you got here. You we bastard. have multiple tools for handling a locked door. The first is picking it. Good when you want your entry to an area to be quiet. Pull out your toolkit and use it to pick the lock. Oh. Nice work. Move on to the next door. We'll use a breaching charge on this one. 
Okay, we're going all out on this one. Pull out your C2 charge, and let's blow this thing open. C2 is great for opening doors quickly and surprising the perps on the other side. Now stand back and blow it. Suck on this on my side! Nice. I never get tired of that. You do need to be careful with these. They are Cops. explosives. Anyone directly on the other side of a door is going to get seriously injured. We are a life-saving organization. We don't want to kill people. Sometimes the knuckleheads give you no choice. But our goal is to have a peaceful resolution of the situation. The best solution is one in which you don't have to fire your weapon. So the first thing you need to do when you see anyone is to get them on the ground. Yell as loud as you can to get them to comply. Okay, get on the ground! Oh wait, hold F. We're middle mouse. Put your hands up and get down! I don't believe this Officer is Officer Hansen here was smart enough to give up for you. But the perps, and sometimes even the victim, don't give What's up, up that I easy. thought you guys were gonna rescue you me! You are authorized to Entry take down to talk. anyone who's in is okay. you Ready for you back. Person. But remember, we'll you come should in when fire your weapon only in defense of life. If, a if you're going to lead a tactical element. Oh. My game crashed. Amazing. Oh, shit! Ah! ...are designed to disorient people with a very loud bang and an extremely bright flash. If you don't look away from the detonation, you can get blinded, too. Ah! Oh, target shit! With rubber balls that stun and disorient them. Great. Let's continue. Go ahead and try this door. Uh-huh. I locked it before you got here. We have multiple tools for handling a locked door. The first is picking it. Good when you want your entry to an area to be quiet. Pull out your toolkit and use it to pick the lock. Nice work. Move on to the you next door. Fucking crash we'll use a breach. God. Okay, we're going all out on this one. Pull out your C2 charge and let's blow this thing open. C2 is great for opening doors quickly and surprising them. Now stand back and blow it. <gasps> nice. I never get tired of that. You do need to be careful. They are get explosives. Out! Anyone directly on the other side of a door is going to get seriously injured. On the ground, now! We are a life-saving order. Police, where are you Officer me? Hansen here was smart enough to give up for you. But the perps, and sometimes even Wait, the victims... Wait, is there some mistake here? You, you gotta stop so those shooters! You're ready to evacuate. If you're going to lead a tactical Roger. element, we'll come in you gotta start clear. working with them. The team is in the room to the right. Mm. 3-9 Adam, this is Central BCC. Adam, boy, and truck one responding to 25 Glendive Lane for high-risk warrant service. Okay, well, I thought I'd add this in because the fucking thing kept crashing. I'll just give you a little bit of the gameplay, I guess. Or I could just crash. Fuck me in the ass, right? 